Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making some coasters out of rolled paper from magazines and newspapers. Here in front of me I've got a set of four all ready to decorate. Um, basically all it is is just tubes of paper real round each other and you just keep going out and out and out until you get to the desired size. So you could go as far as doing a uh, maybe a clock face with it or a um, complete dinner setting. Anyway, for this exercise today, what you need is one skewer, several paper tubes. and some PVA glue. So, let's jump into it. First and foremost, we pick up our skewer, and what we do is we find the thin end of the first tube that we're gonna pick up and squash that against the back of the um, skewer and just fold it round. And then, let's move those ones out of the way. Flatten your tube down. Fold it set for about an inch at the end. And then just roll your skewer up the length of the tube. Relatively easy to do. It does get a little bit tricky. Just remove the skewer. So what we've got now is we've got a small coil just forming on the paper tube. So again, with the skewer and your flattened out tube, just roll, roll it round first. Uh, couple of tubes are a little bit difficult because they don't want to go the way you want to, they kind of splay out all over the place. But it's not difficult. So what we're doing is with this first tube, because that's the one that's going to get the most tightest wound, is we're just trying to flatten it out as much as possible, apart from that inch at the end. So, now we're ready to go. So start this time, just roll it around a couple of times on the skewer. And with your PVA glue, follow the line of the uh, paper tube all the way up about an inch from the end, basically where your uh, unsquashed end is. And then just roll that paper tube inside with the skewer. And we're just rolling and then we stop about an inch from the end 
pull the skewer out and hold it in place. Now we're ready for the next tube. Just cover the tip of the tube with the PVA glue and slide it in. To your first tube, so it's nice and tight. Again, help yourself out by flattening the uh, tube out. right way up the shaft again of the second tube stopping about an inch from the end and continue to roll your, your coiled up paper, paper into, into the tubes And then stop again about an inch from the end all the way through. You'll be doing that, stopping an inch from the end in your next tube ready. And then just slide it on. and then continue to coil And every now and again, every four or five coils, just push it on a flat surface and make sure that everything stays flat so that you've got a nice flat coaster. Find another tube. some glue on the end of the that's it and then we're just slide that on and then we'll just run some more glue We'll just continue to coil it up.
keeping it nice and tight as you go. Roll it round at the end, put extra glue on just to smear it on. And there's your coaster, all ready for you to decorate. Now, uh, how I decorated mine, um, and I'll bring up the images and a, a, a brief video of how I, of of my coasters. Um, I used a uh, 24 karat gold leaf and silver gilding method, which I will show you how to do in another video, and uh, then decoupaged over the top of that um, some serviette cutouts which uh, you can see on top I use some gonks on the first two and some Christmas trees on these ones and after that um, I then um, put varnish I smothered it all in varnish several coats to help protect it and uh, pretty much done then I then um, hot glue gunned around the edge um, glittery pipe cleaners and then wrapped them up in um, some nice pretty ribbon and have given them as gifts to people. It's important to remember that whatever um, method you use to decorate your coasters um, to make sure that you put varnish over the top of it, it uh, seals the paper so the paper won't get uh, ruined when you someone spills a cup of tea over it and also um, makes it a little bit nicer and glossier for you to look at. <laughs>